In a long and bloody period of human history, the army of Genghis Khan and his successors, had no equal opponent on the Asian and European continent. Under the union of all Mongol tribes, were this army, so enormously powerful in battle, that the Mongols in none major battle, could not be defeated by any army, in the world at that time. For some inexplicable reason, the gods of war have the Tatar Mongols tribes, as their favorites has chosen. These gods of war, accompanied the Mongols on all their campaigns of conquest, for about 300 years, and always brings luck to the Mongols. These gods even let the Mongols defeat opponents, who were put together from several states, and outnumbered them. A very interesting question to be answered, is what special skills could the bloodthirsty archery horsemen of the Mongols exactly had? And what weapons, equipment and supplies have given these warriors their precision and effectiveness in battle? In this video, we highlight five frightening facts, about the triumph of the Mongol tribes under Genghis Khan, and later by his successors. Here we go. Fact 1. The Mongolian Horse The most important and most distinctive factor in the success of the Mongols were their horses. This breed of horse is one of the most resilient, and hardy horse breeds in the world. This horse is capable of covering great distances, on simple and limited food. In addition, this horse used relatively little water compared to other horse breeds. The Mongolian Horses had slightly shorter legs and a larger head, than the European horse breeds. The size of the Mongolian horse, is between 130 and 145 centimeters. A European horse has a height of about 148 centimeters to 180 centimeters. This made the Mongolian horse slightly smaller, than other horse breeds. Still, it wasn't a pony. In addition, the horses of the Mongols had a slightly longer neck, than other horse breeds. The Mongolians made threads from the strongly embossed mane, with which they tented their yurts tied together. The adhesion and stepping resistance, between the Mongolian horse's hooves, and the ground were more pronounced. Fact 2. The Mongolian Arrow and the Mongolian Bow. The Mongols succeeded in using this weapon, which existed in every epoch of human history lead to perfection. Considering that the Mongols, had little or no knowledge of iron forging, when it comes to bow and arrow making, the Mongolians have it all in terms of effectiveness, quality and manageability. Overtaken by other peoples. But a special way of life, required being able to wield the bow of the Mongols. The warriors had to practice for months to draw the bow. At first, it required tremendous strength in the arms, as well as good core strength in the back to let go not to be thrown off balance, by the force and thus to shoot the arrow past the target. The Mongolians trained on slightly weaker bows, even as children. Thus the Mongols were able to first arrow score the hit instantly. In addition, shooting at fast horseback riding practiced from a young age. So the Mongolian rider, was always able to hit his target effectively despite his fast gallop. In addition, the Mongols could not only lead the difficult to stretch, and unpredictable bows, and shoot extremely accurately, but shoot more arrows in a row, due to years of training as a European archer. Due to the practice from an early age, the Mongolians could master the bow better than any European, or, Arabs or any other people could wield a bow and arrow. The new tactics of the Mongols, what time same with the Mongolian bow and arrow was established, developed into a superior art of war. This helped the Mongols, to develop an empire that blew all previously known standards. The way of life of the Mongols, was different and more raw than we previously thought. In the steppe where the Mongolians grew up, the Mongolians had to face wildly fluctuating temperatures, between warm and cold as well as hunger and thirst. The first thing children did after they could walk, was archery and bow and arrows. Fact 3. The Mongols had versatile melee weapons. 
The Mongols were initially able to seriously injure their opponents, at a distance with bows and arrows. But they had an arsenal of hand-to-hand -hand combat, that went beyond the sword, shield and axe. The Mongols had normal swords, curved swords and a spear with a short sword attachment, what looked like an axe. This weapon, was common among warriors in the northern hemisphere of the Mongol Empire. An envoy of the Catholic Pope in the High Middle Ages, remarked on the numerous victories of the Mongols, can by no means be attributed to your stature or physical strength. The Europeans were stronger and larger, than the Mongols and were still defeated by them. Fact 4. The Organization of the Couriers and Messengers in a Mongolian Army Under Genghis Khan, an effective courier and messenger entity, was installed in the Mongolian armed forces. On the territory of the Mongol Empire, many post offices appeared in all corners of the empire. Long reporting routes, were again divided into small postal units, where subordinates always kept things in order. In addition, all non-Mongolian people and their merchandise, and goods have been meticulously and accurately registered and written down. Sometimes some of the travelers' horses were confiscated and left to the Khan's couriers. It was precisely through this organization of reporting, that Genghis Khan's orders could be carried out quickly, and effectively reach all locations of the Mongol Empire. Fact 5. The Iron Discipline in the Mongolian Armed Forces The leader Genghis Khan the hitherto scattered and undisciplined, and disorganized tribes of the Mongols united. In addition, strong discipline was established in the Mongolian army. Mongolian warriors, were threatened with the death penalty for repeated offenses. The set of laws established by Genghis Khan, demanded from every Mongol constant help, and devotion to his Mongol comrades. For example, if a Mongol lost something, and it fell on the ground, it was his comrade riding behind him is obliged to pick up the item, and give it back to the bearer. If the comrade left the item behind, a terrible punishment awaited him. Every Mongolian warrior was required by law to prepare thoroughly for a campaign. Here, too, a brutal punishment awaited a Mongolian, who resisted or poorly prepared. The death penalty threatened a Mongolian warrior for many other offenses as well. For offenses such as theft in your own camp, or falling asleep on a post. That's it for today, for the frightening facts about the Mongols of the Middle Ages. I hope you enjoyed the video, if so please leave a subscription and a thumbs up. See you soon, your channel history best.